with one word guilty. That was today's verdict for Cola Beal the fourth. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Shad and I'm Maria Lana Baloris. Beal is now convicted of eight charges, two counts of aggravated murder, two counts of arson, abduction, torturing an animal to death and gun charges. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us live with details from court. Kiana. Yes, Beal may spend the rest of his life in prison for the aggravated murders of his girlfriend and the man he calls Pops. Now, during the guilty verdict, while it was being read, he yelled out in court. Then the judge ordered him out of the courtroom, but this really made the victim's families upset. They started to cry when he did that. Guilty on all charges. As the Virginia Beach Sheriff's deputy places cuffs on Cola Bill the fourth, he yells out, can y'all get this? over with a similar attitude he had during an interrogation video with Virginia Beach homicide detectives and in an interview with 10 on your side in 2022. The Commonwealth proves what Beale admitted to police that he tied up and shot his girlfriend Xavier Hill in the head with her gun inside of her house on Baccalaureate Drive. Ring camera video shows he invited friends over to take items from her house before killing the Vietnam veteran who helped raise him. Clifton Baxter. Beal said he killed Baxter because he would only give him small amounts of money. My brother was kind of hardcore, uh, but he was fair. He was honest. If he saw that you help yourself, he don't mind helping you. But Mr. Beal won't work and won't try to find a job. Baxter's sister says she was not surprised by Beal's actions and believes justice was served in his conviction. Yes. Yes, I do but I wish they had the death penalty. The Commonwealth also shows the gruesome pictures of Hill's home after Bill set it on fire with gasoline with her body and dog still inside. The photos were hard for her family to look at. I'm just so sorry because Miss Hill's daughter was very pleasant. She was very loving and her little dog was just as cute as a bird. Hill's family visibly heartbroken by the details of this case. Hill is remembered as a kind and ambitious young woman. And I'm sorry that that happened to her, you know, that she lost her daughter in that manner. And coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear even more from Clifton Baxter's family. But Cola Beal will be in court again on July, 20, July 2nd, excuse me. That's when his sentencing hearing is. In Virginia Beach, Kiana Patterson, telling your side. Kiana, thank you. We're now going to go out to 10 on your side's Lauren Moss, who just spoke with Cola Beal from jail moments ago. Uh, Lauren, what did Beal have to say today? Well, the last time we talked to Cola Beal, the fourth, he said he didn't regret anything. Now, he says he has remorse. Beal was found guilty today for murdering his girlfriend and father figure in Virginia Beach in 2022. After he was arrested by the U.S. Marshals in 2022, Beal told us he had no remorse. He told me today he has since come out of what he calls a blackout in a trance and now feels remorse for his actions. Beal says it took some time to reflect on what happened, and that's when he truly became remorseful. Beal says sitting through the trial, seeing all the evidence and testimony didn't make him feel good. I asked him what he would say to the victim's family. This is his answer. I hope y'all can move past this and get well. And I know it's going to take some time to, to get everything back together like it was, but I hope in due time y'all can get well and get better and just take it day by day and, and it's always going to be somebody looking down on you all and, and making sure that y'all can continue to feel love. You heard Archiana Patterson talk about what he shouted after the verdict. He said, can y'all get this expletive over? He explains that moment and his thoughts after the verdict coming up at six. In Virginia Beach, I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.